Hi everybody, it's Henry and Sandy, and here we are the day before we open Granny. Yes, we're we are so ready. excited. The kids have their wigs on. You've got your wig on they too. They put a wig on me. I'm not we're wearing getting, a wig. I'm wearing my up. Gloucester Fisherman's hat that I got. These kids at are too much. Second glance. Hmm? Oh my gosh, much. they are working so hard and they're hilarious. They, they are, are so, so funny. funny. Um, we open tomorrow at 7 o'clock right here at 1 Lexington <laughs> Avenue in Magnolia at the Magnolia Library and mm -hmm. Community Center in Jones Hall. Uh, tickets are a suggested donation and you can donate at the door mm -hmm. or you can go to our website, northshorefolk.org and right. donate there on our box office page. Um, this show is great for everybody. It's great mm -hmm. for kids. It's great for grandparents. It's great for everybody in between. Right. So, um, please come and support local theater. Um, we still need sponsors. We really, uh, what kind of, we have... Maybe one. Yeah, who do we yeah, have? Yeah, we have Mina Dental. Mina Dental. Mina Dental Yay. sponsor. We have to get their tickets to them. And, yes. You know, um, so we need more. If you're a sponsor, you yeah. get free tickets and other perks. Um, if you would like to sponsor this production, all donations, uh, all sponsorships are donations, yeah. tickets are donations. If you are a business and you would like to sponsor the North Shore Folklore Theater Company or one of our productions, mm -hmm. um, you can go to our website and click on our Support Us page, right. and um, there's a corporate sponsorship. I mean, you don't have to be like a big corporation. You can be a small mom and pop mm -hmm. shop or whatever. We've had yeah, um, our local bakeries, our hair salons, bakeries, restaurants, restaurants, um, tech companies. Yeah. Um, landscaping companies, landscaping, I mean, you're painting, get your... right? Anything. Plumbers, electricians, anybody. Right. Anybody can sponsor. Or you can be an individual if you have the means to uh, be a patron of the arts and support us and get us where we need to be. We need that. We need it. We just hired a musician. I know, and it's we, way more you know, than we can afford. It's way more than we can afford, but she was... She was available, was available and, and she's swooping in last minute to, to you know, help these kids. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't like using recorded music for right. these shows and I much prefer using live musicians, but that is one of the costs that we have in terms of our budget, which we really have no budget. Right. So um, the more people that are involved as partners and sponsors, the better off we are to be able to improve and keep improving the quality of our they're productions. They're doing an Italian run through. Sorry. Yeah, they're doing an Italian run through. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Um, and so, um, and plus, every donation that's coming in to support Granny, which again opens tomorrow for the, mm -hmm. it's running for the next three weekends. Mm -hmm. um, is going to go to support Greasy Pull the Musical, which we're bringing right. back by popular demand uh, this summer. But again. That requires right. the hiring of a band. Mm -hmm. um, and so the revenue at the box office, because every ticket is a suggested donation, is far less than than can support mm -hmm. a production. And that's right. where we rely on our community. So this message, right. just like last week, is really about reaching out and, and the hard ask that we really do need our local support. So mm -hmm. if you are a business owner or an individual who would like to be a patron of our theater company and support us beyond the box office, um, then get a hold of us. Right. Um, if you want to write in to us, info at northshorefolk.org. Uh, if you're an angel donor with a much larger donation than we're right now asking for, great. Uh, mm -hmm. Contact me personally at Henry Allen at North Shore. We have big dreams. We do <laughs> have big dreams and big visions. We yeah. want to grow. We want to keep growing in this community, but we can only do it with your support. That's right. Um, you know, I know that there are so many worthy nonprofits out there that are also asking for your support. And I think if we give a little to everybody, mm -hmm. then everyone benefits, you know, and micro philanthropy is a real thing. If a lot of people give just a little bit, then enough is as good as a feast. Right. You know, we don't have a huge budget. Our vision, our dream budget for the year is $260,000 to really do the shows the way we want mm -hmm. to. Um, in terms of theater world, that's really not a whole lot of money. So um, again, if we, you know, if we have 10 people, Donate a hundred bucks a piece, or a hundred people donate a hundred mm -hmm. bucks a piece. A hundred by a hundred, that gives us ten thousand dollars right there. Yeah. Can you imagine how great? And you Gracie can do it Cole in groups. You can do it in teams. You can do it in you teams. Know? You can do it with your work colleagues, uh, or a church group, or a books book club, mm -hmm. or a knitting circle. Whatever. Everybody pitch in ten bucks, twenty bucks, or whatever, and um, and that's how we make things happen. So. 
Uh, again, we need our community support to keep doing these wonderful, amazing shows, to keep supporting these kids and their creativity, really engaging them to where they live on, uh, on a heart level. They, right. they are loving where they live because they're learning about where they live and they're inspired by our local stories. And, and there's and so folklore. many and they take it to the next level. Yeah. You know, it's... Yeah. Well, and, and there are a lot of families right now who, who wouldn't normally be able to afford to have their kids in a program like this. Right. Um, as you know, your kids are involved in our shows and in our programs. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's really about making these kids as well-rounded as they can be. And, um, not everybody can afford, you know, even other low cost programs in the area. So we're saying, don't worry about that. Set that aside. But we have to make up that difference somehow. Mm -hmm. And I'm appealing to our business community and our families of means to be able to, you know, pitch in a little bit and, and say, hey. Support a child. Yeah, you know? sponsor a child specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a number of kids whose families are not able to afford any programs for them. Otherwise, the kids would be home alone playing video games or whatever. Well, we're here creating, being outside, learning about local history and folklore and really engaging these kids, the giving them a, a that sense of place get. and confidence. Yeah, the confidence that our, our theater kids get just from – us allowing them to really in inspire, you know, just come from what's inside them and share with us. You know, it's just happens and they have it's it in like, there. It's like magic. I think every kid is born with the uh, potential for, for confidence. And, you know, there's a lot of stress. There's a lot of pressure in our it's world so right now. It's so funny because when we're, we're doing rehearsals, yeah. um, a lot of the adults are very much well this is a lot it's been a short notice you know this we haven't had a lot of rehearsals i haven't heard one child say complain. that complain at all they're ready they take the challenge they're ready they're ready to go they're confident and do you know what nobody said to, to me your daughter do you know what she said when she came running up the stairs she says we open tomorrow finally and we haven't even been rehearsing that long, but they're ready to go. They're, they're chomping ready. at the bit to do a great show for you. Right. So come and yeah. even if you can't contribute as a donation above and beyond what we're asking. Um, we need know, an audience. We need an audience. Give these children an audience. That's we right. won't turn you away at the door, but they want to perform. They That's want right. to glorify you. They want to make you laugh. They want you to make you happy. They want you That's, to rise to your feet and do. applaud and just have... So Take a break from, from everything. Please come and, and, and sit and enjoy the show. Uh, a suggested donation is 10 to 20 bucks. If you can't afford 10 bucks, then come anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, give what you can. Yeah. Bring change. Or or if you can't give this weekend, give next weekend. If you can't right. give next weekend, give the weekend after. If you can't give this month, give next month. Or if you, you can't know? give it all, come anyway and tell five people about it. Yeah. Because those five people can afford it and they can come and pay for it and, and donate and mm -hmm. they'll enjoy the show. And that's like you times five. So you've already affected that. So that's what that's I mean right. by that micro philanthropy. That's right. It does take a village to raise a child. And this theater mm -hmm. company is five years old. It's still a baby. Right. And we really want to build a foundation, a solid foundation under us um, that's, you know, from show to show – you know, we're scrounging to, to pull together what we can. Mm -hmm. and um, Each show supports the next show. Each show supports the next show. And that's um, how it goes. And we are... And we're happy with that. We are. And we we're have 100%. big ideas and big dreams and for, that's right. for this. That's right. And we're, we're mm -hmm. a volunteer company. Mm -hmm. I'm a volunteer. Sandy's a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Tommy's a volunteer. The only people who are not volunteers are the musicians that we hire mm -hmm. to come and do these shows. Right. Why do we hire musicians? Because the musicians that we are working with are quality you know, these are professional musicians. They they lift our shows. They, do. they You're really so right. bring a professionalism mm -hmm. and a polish to our yeah. shows. And it's worth that investment on our end mm -hmm. um, to be able to give these kids the opportunity. Yeah. Where else You're do they right. have the opportunity to work with live musicians? It does. A lot They're of the kind shows of like, that oh. they get to do out like in school and whatnot a lot of the times they're not working with a live musician or accompanist. Mm -hmm. They're working with a recording. Mm -hmm. Now that takes the humanity out of it. I really want to give these kids as many opportunities to work with well real human again. beings. And the kids that are involved in our shows are all musically inclined mm -hmm. in their way. And to be inspired by a real life musician in the room with them, I tell you that's priceless. Mm -hmm. And so, 
you know, to be able to pay even the little bit that we pay to the musicians who come and do our shows. Um, I do think of them as partial volunteers because we're paying them way under scale right. um, to be able to have them here. And so they're taking time. They're giving up other gigs that may be paying them more to come because they believe in what we're doing as well. So we believe in what we're doing. We hope you believe in what we're doing. Yeah. And certainly the kids do. The and, kids do. And, and this show, there's only one person in the show who's not a kid. How much you get? Oh, she's a kid at you heart. You get filled. But, Oh, Tommy. Yeah. yeah. She really Tommy fit. Tommy Souza is she amazing. She really fit right in with the kids, I have to say. I know. We had to, amazing? We had to, like, tell her. She slipped Rumble, right in. Go home and rehearse your lines. You know, she would call line just like the kids would call line. She's she, in there with them. And the kids voted her in. And we, the kids voted her we in. Had, we had given I them the I thought they were going to vote me in. I'm like, no. Oh, you already did a show, though. So you already broke this the ice. This is itchy. I'll take it off. Nobody cares. No. We um, were very proud of, of our Tommy Souza. She, uh, so the kids her. voted her in. We, we gave them the option of having it be an all kids show or have it be intergenerational like all of our other shows are. And they wanted it to be intergenerational, only they only wanted one adult in the show <laughs> with them. And that was Grandma Peachy, Grandma. as they call her, um, and, and Tommy with the heart as big as Cape Ann stepped in yeah. and said, yeah, I'll do it. So very excited to have Tommy so Sousa in the role of granny. Granny. Um, granny. 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 The songs are amazing in the show. She sings, I'm 80 years old tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, they sing, uh, instead of it's a hard knock life, hanging Hang on, on to life. life. Instead of little girls, it's senior, senior folk. folk. Senior folk. <laughs> I love it. I love all the music. You're never fully dressed without depends. depends. It's awesome. Every every song is a show. Fishing stopper. fleet. Fishing fleet instead of easy street. Dollar tree. Dollar tree instead, instead of, of NYC. NYC. It's uh, really every every song is is a spoof of the original and mm -hmm. uh, a showstopper. And so, the passion that the so kids funny. wrote this and now they get to perform it. The, they get to you. I can't even describe perform that. Perform the, the roles that they, they invented. wrote this and now they're performing it. And that's what we do with our young playwrights workshop. They did it so well. And I told them that day, I'm like, you kids wrote this so well. Now perform it with that passion that you wrote it. And they are. The Their characters way. are so funny and broad and mm -hmm. yeah. they're just having a blast they as are. kids do. You know, they call it a play for a reason. And these kids are here playing, yeah. you know, with all the stress around the common core testing, mm. around, you know, Everything. homework, hours of homework. The hard news on TV. The hard news that they're that seeing I on TV. That I know that the they're violence. getting a glimpse of, even of though you try to protect of them from they it. Are. They're getting, they get it. They see the, the anxiety in The earthquake in Nepal. Parents, I mean, this is a really intense time. It really and is. And this outlet for these kids. Yeah. Has been amazing. They right. just come here. It's like a spa. It's like a theater spa. Where did the for word them. play come from in theater? Like the history of the play. Well, you're acting. So, like when children are playing with one another, right? They're outside. They're running around. Mm -hmm. They're on the playground. Mm -hmm. They're playing other people. They're they're portraying right other right. people. They're acting. Um, I don't know, cops and robbers. So or in theater whatever. history, that's pretty much where it came from. Just yeah, like you're playing to an audience, right? So. Um, in its earliest time, uh, theater was very political, and uh, you know the Greeks did these these grand dramas that often mm -hmm. had to do with the state of uh, what was going on in their culture and and everything else, the the emperors and the Caesars and all of that. Um, and then during medieval times, um, people would uh, you know troops, roaming troops, would go from village to village, bringing the news. That's what the news was, it was entertainment tonight. I mean, mm -hmm. they would really, they would show up and they would act out the stories. Um, also in the early days of the church, um, in order to teach uh, about the Bible, they would perform the stories mm -hmm. because most people at that time were illiterate mm -hmm. and they couldn't read the Bible. Mm -hmm. So they had to perform it. So it really has deep roots in story. I mean, the first wow. storytellers were really our oldest ancestors sitting around a, a fire um, you know, under the stars, telling so stories. So I think we should of, get to play today. Of, yeah, we, we do. Don't we don't play enough. enough. And well, we rely on on you know the 
newspapers and the TV and, TV and to movies play so to play for us and video games and all that stuff. So, you know, so to, we need to play more. We need to play more. So kids come, need to play more. Our kids can teach you how to play. Our kids definitely can teach how to play because we have a blast. We As you can laugh. see so hard we laugh belly laugh my gut is aching every time i go home because we try to be serious but (laughs) (laughs) we can't i'm telling you that last night the moment of when you said okay let's focus and you cleared the air and i could it was magic it was amazing i could just feel like all the angels all over these little children you know just kind of like floating they were just like enfolded in this peace and the focus and we talked about professionalism when that what that means it means what you bring in your attitude it doesn't just mean that you get paid for something that you do it's what you bring in your attitude and it's ensemble work it's it's taking into account that every single person is vitally important to the success Mm -hmm. of a project and these kids are getting that really and truly. They're going to be one really of them sad matters. when this is over. Well, but then we start Greasy Pole the Musical right away. You know, yeah. we uh, in a couple of weeks, we start rehearsals for Greasy Pole the Musical. And if you would like to be in that show, if you're an adult, if you're a kid, we need men, we need women, we need kids. I think the more the merrier for that show. Mm-hmm. Um, it'll be right here, uh, in Magnolia. We opened June 12th, so that's really not a whole lot of time. Right. Uh, so we're going to hit the ground running with, uh, the music, with choreography by Sarah Fader, who is coming back. She was, uh, she's been our house choreographer since the beginning. Uh, we've worked with some others as well, but she's really, she was the first one to choreograph not only Greasy Pole the musical, but Lobster Crack a Ballet, Mm -hmm. and she is deeply a part of uh, the heart of our company. Yeah, she is. Uh, she's a, definitely a core member. We and go visit her someday. Yeah, well, she's going to come and visit us because she's going to be she's doing gonna, Greasy Pull the Musical. And I'm sure she's going to come watch Granny. She always supports our shows. So we're wrapping up casting this week for Greasy Pole. And if you would like to be in it, if you would like to play it as a musician, uh, we're also looking for a music mm-hmm. director. Uh, we're looking for a stage manager. Uh, we're looking for tech support. So um, this is the time. The time is now. Come and get involved with the North Shore Folklore Theater Company here in Magnolia. There's magic in Magnolia. Mm-hmm. We want to bring more traffic here. Uh, we're going to be doing a series of classic films for families, yes. an educational journey into the history of classic American family film. Maybe not just American films, but others as well sent from the silent era on. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. We're doing some Magnolia After Dark events Mm -hmm. as well. Um, So if there's something that you would like, family dances, things like that, if you would like to come and get involved or if you'd like to see something happen here in Magnolia, get a hold of us and let us know. Meanwhile, we need your support. So... Dig deep, write those checks, or uh, and those you can send to me um, uh, at the North Shore Folklore Theater Company, 19 Mount Vernon Street, Gloucester, Massachusetts, 01930. Or you can do it uh, easier online. online. Uh, if you just do it, click the Fraction Atlas, who are fiscal sponsor, and just do it online. That eliminates the middleman, and it gets it through much faster. Uh, Fractured Atlas is a great organization out of New York. Um and they serve as an umbrella for us and a number of other, um, hundreds actually, of other artists and arts organizations uh, so that we can operate as a nonprofit and, um, and bring you the best uh, service that we can bring you because we are a service-oriented mm-hmm. uh, right. organization. We are also starting a parenting workshop called a Parent Think Tank. And we really want parents to be involved. I've got a lot of friends who are parents and I, I keep feeling like, you know, parents are at a loss right now. Yeah. How to how to deal with things like Common Core, how mm-hmm. to deal with education, mm-hmm. how to deal with raising who knows, your kids. You might get a parenting book on it. In the twenty first century. Yeah, let's write one collaboratively. Right, yeah. I think that would be great. Yeah. Um, so that's gonna depend on you as parents. Um, if you would like to take part in that. Um, the, um, uh, information is on our website, northshorefolk.org, and we'll pull it together with the best schedule that yeah. we can possibly do. I think that's really important. I also should say on that note that on May 11th, which is coming up right. in a week City or so, Hall. a little bit, City Hall from 7 to 9 mm-hmm. p.m., we are co-hosting, uh, a Common Core Forum. Um, there are a lot of people who have questions and are confused and are 
misinformed or not getting enough information. And so I, you know, beyond being a theater, we really are a support service to this community on many levels. And so we want to um, make sure that you have all the information Mm -hmm. so that you can make informed choices uh, about whether or not to opt out and we of work the park with kids, testing. So we hear these things. So we it's hear it and we also see the there. we also and see we the, effect see the effects of that's right. of the testing and, and the right. stuff on the, these kids that we're working with. We see the stress levels right. and we see that we hear from them the concern. Yeah, we hear from their parents do. who sometimes sit here in tears not knowing how to handle it. So this is what we're doing. Mm-hmm. We're we're stepping up and we've invited some special guests. Um, there's uh, more information on our Facebook page. Um, and I will have the flyer um, soon on our website. Right, and you have options, so come find out what your options are. That's right. And even if you don't have a kid in school, if you're a homeschooling parent right. or um, you, you just have questions or you're interested, if you're an educator mm-hmm. um, and you have questions about your options around Common Core, Park, MCAS, right. um, come to this event. It's May 11th. Mark it on your calendar and please talk it up because talk that's up. what this talk show is about. That's right. Um we're opening tomorrow night. Yeah, we got to go rehearse. We got to go rehearse. They're waiting for their director. So um, come see Granny and visit us online at northshorefolk.org. Anything else I missed? I think we, we're good. We're good. Yep. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see you bye. next week. Or we'll see you right here at the theater this weekend. Thanks, everybody. Oh, we have Thank a show um, tomorrow is at 7 p.m. curtain. Mm-hmm. And then Saturday, one at 4 and one at 7. seven. No show um, on Sunday. No show on but Sunday But we will have a week. show on Mother's Day. On so Mother's, Mother's Day, we do. plans. Perfect for Mother's Day. Yes, perfect. Bring for your, your grandmothers. grandmothers. Okay. Jeez. We love granny. I know. Coconut. I'm not playing. All right. Bye. Bye.